Hi guys, Ross here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be learning how to create this simple cartoon effect. This is a really simple yet effective effect to make your lettering stand out. So let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so here I have a bit of lettering that I'll be working on for the video's sake, but of course you can use a font if you prefer to use that. So, first what you're going to want to do is get your selection tool, which is either V on the keyboard or it's at the top of your toolbar, and just select the lettering. And then if you come down to the layers palette and press the button in the top right corner and I'm just going to duplicate this. So our top layer is going to be the front and then the bottom layer is going to be the back. So first of all we want to work on the back. We're going to select that. Um, you can always lock the front layer and we can just work on the um, bottom layer. So you're going to want to pick the colour that you want for the cartoon effect. So I'm just going to go for a pinkish colour like this and I'm going to copy the hex code and then paste it onto the stroke okay and then the reason why you want the same color is because if I just put the stroke up to let's say 20 and I hide the front so that looks fine now it's all the same color but say I change the fill you're gonna get that and at the moment obviously you, you can't really see it with the front over the top of it but what we're gonna do in a minute um, you're gonna all want it to be the same color so if I just paste the hex code back in all the same color and I think I'm actually going to um, bump the stroke up a little bit, so I'm going to put it up to 30, I think. Maybe that's perfect. And then also, if you press stroke at the top, and it'll bring up these additional settings, and you're just going to want to change the cap to round cap, and then the corner to round join. And this just smooths the corners out. Um, you'll see much more of a difference if you're using a font that has sharp edges on whereas this that I've made is a lot more rounded so it doesn't make much of a difference but it just smooths the corners essentially. So with the bottom layer selected I'm just going to hold shift and go down one and then let go of shift and I'm just going to nudge it to the right a bit just like that. So it's kind of at, it's not perfectly centered so it gives it a bit of depth and then I'm going to want to change the front color so I'm just going to set the front, unlock it first, come over to the color and change it to a light grey, so just like that. So it's it's not a perfect white, it's just a little bit off. A little bit off grey, I'm just going to put it down a bit. There we go, just like that, perfect. Okay, and then the last step is if we just duplicate the bottom layer, select it, and then press in the circle like to the right of it, and then press the button in the top right of the layers palette again, duplicate it, drag it so it's at the very bottom and then I'm going to change this to shadow. So what we're going to want to do is select it, hold shift, and go down one and then right one. And then I'm going to change the colour again to a light grey. Not as light as the front of the text, maybe a bit darker. And copy the hex code and paste that into the stroke. And that gives it a bit of a shadow effect. So just like that. And there's one more effect we can add which just ties all of it together. This is of course optional, it's just up to personal preference. So I'm going to make a new layer and drag it right to the bottom. And I'm just going to rename this to background. And if I press I, that's the eyedropper. And I'm just going to select the pink. So that will copy the properties of that layer. But of course we don't need the stroke for a rectangle. So I'm just going to select the stroke and then press none, which we get rid of it, so it's just a fill now. And then make sure we've got the rectangle selected. And I'm just gonna draw it so it fills the artboard, just like that. And that kind of gives it a um, negative space effect and it looks really neat actually. So that's just something I like to add to mine, but of course, that's completely up to you. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you've got any suggestions for future videos, drop them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next video. So the deadline for my giveaway was today and I'd just like to say thank you to everyone who entered it. I had such a good response and I really wasn't expecting that. So I've used a random comment picker and the winner for the giveaway is Farden Nasimi. I hope I pronounced that right, but congratulations and I'll message you later with more details. Thank you to everyone who's took part and don't feel disheartened if you didn't win because I'm sure I'll do lots more in the future. Thanks again to everyone and I'll see you in the next video.